Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, I'm going to comment on my analysis that was posted on weekend. I'm going to add on to that analysis. There is not no major change, but because of the price action, it looks like I have to look at a smaller time frame, 15 minute chart, and I'm going to discuss about that. As far as the larger time frame analysis is concerned, it still remains the same. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss quickly gold, silver, uh, euro, Canadian dollar, and British pound. So we'll see where the prices are heading. First of all, uh, I am working, strongly working really on the daily estimation moves. I am a little off on the, my daily calculation moves and that's uh, I'm hard, uh, I'm working hard on it. So, and as far as the larger trend in gold is concerned, uh, I have been bearish and there is nothing has changed for that. I'm expecting that the prices would follow down and there is no change to it. As far as the daily estimation price action itself is concerned, as I said, uh, work is still in progress. So let's have a look on a 15 minute chart. By uh, that mean I'm 15 minute chart, an hourly chart. Uh, I'm working on mm, some tools to make sure that we get uh, more accurate or uh, a better estimation. So here we can see that the prices have, uh, this is uh, my analysis, as we can see that the prices have gone up. Uh, they fell down and then they went up and they created a, a top right above the previous top, which is very bullish signal for this for time frame not for a larger time frame or this time frame so I'm expecting that we are going to see some flat correction like this right over here uh, something like this and then uh, if some of you guys want to go long for next few days two three days uh, then we can go long uh, there is a potential that we might actually see the uh, double top happening there is a good potential for that occurring uh, whatever the move is happens uh, if either it's small or strong is expected to be very uh, short-lived so let's say it, if the price goes on and kicks off all the stop losses in the region it may push further down or even further down but that does not mean that the trend has changed I'm expecting that the major trend would actually uh, come back to us on Friday probably so uh, next few days I'm expecting for now let's bring this back down a little uh, not go passionate about it so let's go down like this and there is a good possibility that we might see some more up and down like we have seen prices come down so there's a good possibility that we might see up and down uh, creating a double three happening this will actually bring the prices closer to the trend line uh, a very good analysis uh, for support line a signal for confirmation signal using the support line would be when prices go up and fall down below the support line that will be good signal if you want to use the uh, horizontal support then this is a very good signal as long as as soon as pr prices start below uh, I mean come below the support line uh, right over here 1773 this is also a good confirmation signal next three four days as I said till uh, Friday morning or maybe some, uh, Thursday evening we are expecting that uh, we'll probably reach this price behavior and then we'll start seeing the fine once again as you guys can see that uh, on a on a daily time frame I'm trying to work hard on the estimation of the price action uh, flat correction occurs in all different sorts of uh, shapes and forms and uh, work is in progress let's have a look at silver now as you can see that we have uh, got a very nice opportunity for silver uh, for people who want to be short uh, we'll be going with that deep I'm not sure uh, right now I'm looking at this as a double top and double bottom so I'm expecting that we shall see a uh, continuation of this move making it as a WXY uh, or a W wave A wave B or in wave C that will make it the W uh, and this is what I'm expecting in the next few days let's have a look at that maybe the price will actually form into the previous bottom which is right over here so let's see this is the previous bottom on the so I'm expecting that price is probably would reach 2447 uh, it should give us an opportunity to short the silver once again and once again the larger trend has not which I forecasted on uh, on Friday has not changed but I thought I'll update with the small time frame analysis the larger trend which is bearish I'm bearish on on silver and uh, that's what I'm expecting that I will stay on uh, further bearish I mean I'm still stay uh, bearish on silver uh, I made a comment about the uh, the price of silver 
and I'm still working on it. Uh, I said five dollar, five ish dollar, and lots of people <laughs> kind of liked it, and some people didn't like it. Uh, five ish dollar price targets is something that I have tried to work on. I have not come up with a very good uh, methodology for price targets. So let's keep an open mind for five dollars to thirteen dollars, fifteen dollars. Let's keep that's our target for silver. I'm definitely looking for a new low forming in silver. Like apart from this uh, this bottom, I'm looking for probably a new. There's a highly likeliness of uh, forming a new low in in the price of silver. And we are expecting already that uh, we from this. You consider this top. We, so far, we have seen similar behavior. We are seeing. Uh, lower lows and lower highs and a lower low and a lower high and a lower low and a lower high and a lower low and a lower high I guess that this behavior is gonna continue so this itself is a pattern is a very important uh, so keep an eye on that behavior let's have a look at euro in one of my forecast I stated that at this degree to, as I'm interested in the large cycles uh, or uh, swing waves uh, it becomes very very difficult to look for the small time frame corrections and I just stated that wait for the uh, pull up and if the price gives you a, buy, a selling opportunity take it so it looks like right now euro is uh, giving us all that selling opportunity I'm right now considering at the A, wave B and wave C and wave A, wave B and wave C and you know what does that mean this is the flat correction I'm considering right now that the strength you're expecting in and gold probably will be much stronger in uh, in euro as well so i'm expecting that we are going to get a double top with this and we are going to see some sort of uh, let me see if i can use a quick tool so i'm expecting that this is wave a this is wave b and that will be wave c forming a double top so this is what i'm expecting i'm uh, bullish for next few days on euro and we have seen an interesting behavior in uh, in the price of uh, in the price of uh, Canadian dollar as well I was expecting and I forecasted that there's a good possibility that we'll see a uh, pull back and it's gonna give us a good good pull back and this is a very good opportunity for waiting for the setup wait for the prices to come back and create a perfect setup uh, which will give us probably a double bottom when prices fall back all the way to 1.2420 at that point we can actually wait for the prices to go up uh, critical important stop loss should be placed at 1.20 but for now I'm waiting for next two three days I'm waiting for the prices to fall down create a double bottom uh, in Canadian dollar and then you will go for the prices upward uh, I have a, a comment to make and very interesting comment was made and uh, I really appreciate uh, he says uh, the comment was somewhere like what's the catalyst behind the uh, bearish price movement that I'm looking in in the price in the gold so uh, right now if you look at fundamentals there's a huge huge uh, number of fundamentals occur at all then this is what I believe this is my personal belief at any point in the market there are good news and bad news present it is the heavy amount of the investor or a heavy volume of the investor that decides which side to go for example the uh, very famous quote but uh, by Warren Buffet is that the market can stay unreasonable for longer period of time than you can stay uh, out of money or something like that so basically he's saying that the market can be unreasonable I personally try to look for the trend uh, my analysis is not what the government is doing what that person is doing and what the uh, whether we are seeing some natural disaster or not what's that or different other fundamental factors in the economy my whole point of analysis is to look where the investor is going on where the large volume of the trades are going on and volume is the fundamental factor if you look at it it's not the news uh, and this is one classic uh, statement from Elliott wave analysis it's not the news that makes the the people to uh, go in either way either bearish or bullish it is the interpretation of that moves all right it is the anticipation what the person is thinking uh, to some people uh, you know nodding up and down is yes to some people nodding up and down is no and I'm not kidding actually there are is these are cultural differences so w what we are interested in which way the prices are heading which way the trend is moving so with Elliott wave analysis we are trying to capture uh, the trend 
uh, I'm I do not want to get into the debate of inflation whether inflation if inflation is there is not occurring uh, right now we are not seeing any behavior from inflation uh, we have seen some small degree moves there is absolutely no denying because it's on the chart uh, I cannot deny a price movement on the chart it will be saying right no to daylight so let's have a look at uh, it's gold so there is no denying that we have definitely have seen a lot of strength but if you look at the inflation the actual debate of the inflation started uh, somewhere around over here right or you can yeah somewhere around over here there is a huge debate of inflation and we can see that almost a year has gone already and so far we have not seen the skyrocket prices of gold and silver instead we actually seen prices come down and then go up every time it goes up the heat of the heat heated debate of inflation goes up and when it comes down people say oh yeah something minor has happened they don't recognize that okay still prices still keep going down if you look at the chart there is no denying from the top we have seen the prices keep on denying so if one of you is really uh, in, in love or some of you are in love with fundamental analysis really great I mean I've, if you can do it it's really amazing but my whole my whole personal perspective is to look at the prices in an objective way and see where the trend is going on and one another thing about an Elliott wave analysis is that they believe that the news or the the fundamentals join later so you can interpret the smart money by looking at the um, pattern Elliott wave analysis patterns all right and the one right now there's a huge pattern that's occurring and that's still a question I'm discussing from time and again that either we have completed the correction already or either we have not it's a binary situation if we have completed a correction already that means we are in a wave 1 2 1 2 methodology uh, and if we are in a wave 1 2 1 2 methodology prices is still expected to go down in gold and the whole reason for gold the prices to because the prices went up and they were refused uh, from the previous uh, they went beyond the previous high and they were refused in that level and so far we have not find a good uh, price level there is one fundamental and very very important structure and right now we are actually in that area so we are basically just above the actually not in the area just above the this very important area we can see that we have made two tries and then prices went back and so prices fell into this structure right over here and then they went back and then we have made another try and then they went back the important question is that this high would this high be higher than the previous high that would mean that we have created a double bottom in the structure and the prices are getting refused if we can see that the higher high does not happen than previous high that means that we are bearish right and if we can see that the higher high happens than previous high and I've clearly mentioned it that means that my analysis is wrong at least for timing so this high is very important uh, let's get a get back to the analysis uh, we have done all right so the last one is British pound and on a four hourly chart I did mention that, that right now there was no indication uh, no tool that I have that the prices will continue on prices have jumped off of the double bottom very nicely and I'm expecting that we are going to see some double top as well creating a flat correction right over here so this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting that we probably will not see as much of a strength in gold, but we might see some strength happening in in euro, uh, in Canadian dollar, and much so in in British pound. And then on Friday, if you happen to see, I'm not sure with this one with gold. I'm I gave you Friday line, but keep a very closed eye on on the uh, next three four trading days I'm expecting that on Friday probably we will start seeing a reversal at that point it will be very very interesting place to join the bearish trend because we will be very close to the uh, we would be actually have corrected uh, like we came down and we corrected into the trend and gave us a good selling opportunity I wish you good luck uh, with your trading I love your comment section please come and uh, keep them coming and uh, there are a couple of uh, <laughs> people who don't like really uh, my analysis that I'm bearish on gold and the price level that I've given. I respect every one of you and I enjoy your company. Thank you once again. Have a good one and bye-bye.